The second belief about Mary is her ever virginity, that she was virgin for life. She never had conjugal relations with Joseph, even after her betrothal to him, and even after the birth of Jesus. They had no children of their own. Mary and Joseph had no children of their own. The only child they had was Jesus, who was conceived in virginity. What do the church fathers say about this? The fourth century church fathers, all of them spoke of Mary as having remained virgin all throughout her life. Athanasius of Alexandria in the year 293 to 373 AD. Epiphanius of Palestine in the year 313 to 403 AD. Jerome of Stridon, which is present-day Yugoslavia, 345 to 419 AD. Augustine, Numidia, now Algeria, from 354 to 430 AD. St. Cyril of Alexandria, 376 to 444 AD. These were all 4th century church fathers who affirmed the perpetual virginity of Mary. At the 5th Ecumenical Council in Constantinople, they twice in this council referred to Mary as ever virgin. Now, listen to what I'm going to say very carefully because it's amusing. The Protestant reformers defended Mary as the mother of God and defended the ever virginity of Mary. Martin Luther wrote on the divine motherhood of Mary. He said this, In this work whereby she was made the mother of God, so many and such great things were given her that no one can grasp them. Not only was Mary the mother of him who is born in Bethlehem, but of him who before the world was eternally born of the Father from a mother in time and at the same time man and god luther goes on to write about the perpetual virginity of mary he says it is an article of faith that mary is the mother of the lord and still a virgin christ we believe came forth from a womb left perfectly intact john kelvin the founder of the reform movement in switzerland he said that Mary was the mother of God, and this is what he writes. It cannot be denied that God, in choosing and destining Mary to be the mother of his son, granted her the highest honor. Elizabeth called Mary mother of the Lord because the unity of the person in the two natures of Christ was such that she could have said that the mortal man engendered in the womb of Mary as at the same time, was at the same time the eternal God. And both John Calvin and Huldrych Zwingli, these are all the Protestant reformers, the fathers of the Protestant Reformation. Both John Calvin and Huldrych Zwingli affirmed the perpetual virginity of Mary. Zwingli wrote this. He said, I firmly believe that Mary, according to the words of the gospel, is a pure virgin brought forth for us, the Son of God, and in childbirth and after childbirth, forever remain a pure, intact virgin. We hold on to these two ancient dogmas as true until now. There are people who have concerns about these dogmas. Yes, questions. You know why? Because there are certain parts of scripture where, show, where it says that Jesus seems to have brothers and sisters. You see, it uses the word adelphoi, the brothers of Jesus. But just because these people were called the brothers of Jesus does not mean that they were his blood brothers from his mother and father. No. You know, many of us come from traditional communities, right? What are cousins? Brothers, right? I remember there was a young Indian boy in my parish last time and I asked him, how many brothers and sisters do you have? He said, 17. <laughs> I nearly fainted, you know, my blood pressure shot up. Because I said, huh, 17. He said, yeah, 17. 
And I said, what? What's your mother? A baby machine? <laughs> and then after I probed further, I realized that he was referring to all his cousins. He himself had only one, had only two other brothers. The rest were all his cousins. But in a traditional community, we are all brothers and sisters. You see? And this was life in the Middle Eastern world of Christ. When his cousins come, your Adel Foy are here. Your brothers are here. Even St. John the Baptist. What is John the Baptist to Christ? Cousin. John the Baptist is referred to by Scripture as the brother of Jesus. Evidence enough? The brother of Jesus. There are also people who say, but you see, it says here in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 1, verse 25, that Joseph had no relations with her at any time before she bore a son. Doesn't that mean that he had relations with her after he bore a son? That's putting words into the mouth of the author. You understand? Just because he says G Joseph had no relations with Mary before she bore the son does not mean that he's saying that they had relations after she bore the son. He did not say that at all. He just said they had no relations before she bore the son as a point to demonstrate, to affirm the birth of Jesus as a virgin birth. That's all. It doesn't say anything about what happened after that. But the faith of the church tells us she is perpetually virgin. There are also those who say, but scripture refers to Jesus as the firstborn, the prototokos, the firstborn. So if there is such thing as a firstborn, doesn't that mean that there was a secondborn and a thirdborn? Again, to conclude this would be to put words into the author's mouth. That's not how we read writings. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Just because I say I'm handsome does not mean I'm saying you're ugly. You know what I'm saying? It's concluding something extra which I did not say. And there are many people who read scripture like that. So if I say Mary did not have relations with Joseph before the birth of Jesus, I'm not therefore naturally saying or automatically saying that Mary therefore had relations with Joseph after the birth of Jesus. That's not what I'm saying. Just because I say that Jesus is the firstborn of Mary does not mean that I'm saying there was a secondborn and a thirdborn. I don't know if I'm ever going to have a secondborn or a thirdborn. Some people look at me and say, yeah, I think you have a secondborn in you. But right now I have one son and whether I'm going to have any other sons or daughters after that, he's my firstborn. And just because I call him my firstborn doesn't mean there's going to be another one coming out next week. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it beneficial, remember to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and also to hit the bell button in order to receive notification whenever a new video is uploaded onto this channel. Do also check out our online catalogue by clicking on the link in the description below.